Good evening. Earlier today, Mayor Rob Ford attended Humber River Hospital's church site. He was complaining of abdominal pains that had persisted for over three months and it became worse in the last 24 hours. Examination and investigation today revealed that he has a tumor. The mayor has been admitted to Humber River Hospital to allow for further investigation for it to obtain a definitive diagnosis. Happy to do uh, The councillor and I will take any questions that you have. Is the mayor, uh, Councillor Ford, going to focus on his health and step away from the mayoral race? Well, I'll just make a, a quick statement that it, it saddens me that I have to be here today. And uh, Rob's uh, in good spirits and and uh, just want to thank the well wishers for all the uh, calls that are coming in. And so in terms of the campaign, what about the campaign? Is, is the mayor going to focus we'll, on his we'll health speak, this time? We'll speak about that tomorrow. I just asked the press just to give our family uh, a day or so. Can you tell us how Rob's doing, Doug? How's he? How's he? How's, what's he's, he in, he's in good spirits. Okay. He's he, he's in good spirits and. And uh, just uh, thanks everyone for uh, all the well wishes. What happened yesterday night? Coming into the hospital, what, what happened? He had a, a, a stomach pain. I, I had breakfast with him today over at Perkins, and he said his stomach was bothering him. He went to the doctors, and then the doctor sent him over to Humber, and, uh, and we're here today. Has he, anyway, has, he did, has he complained about this sort of thing to you in the past? No, no. Just a really. So the tumor is in his abdomen. Uh, that's our, our working diagnosis based on the CT scan. What, what is happening now is being investigated further and uh, we need to determine what exactly what type of tumor it is and uh, then we can de then decide on what treatment is required. Well, we hope that uh, we'll be able to do a lot of that investigation this week. Doctor, how are you able to determine so quickly that this was a tumor? He just came in a few hours ago, the mayor? A CT scan is uh, very definitive for for the tumor. How large is it? Uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, wasn't a small tumor, but uh, the size is not as, uh, as relevant as what it is. And what is it? We haven't defined that yet. Uh, it's a uh, what, what we really need is a biopsy and uh, to be able to look at the exactly what tumor it is and also to investigate to see if the tumor is anywhere else. And, and doctor, I imagine this, this uh, despite the nature of this tumor, it would require surgery at some point for removal? Well, first we have to, have to decide what the tumor is and then we can decide on the on the treatment that's required and and you know of all the treatments that are possible and surgery is one of those options what kind of does, does this type of tumor have well we don't know what kind of tumor it is so i can't talk to the uh, to the prognosis be, we have to define it and then then the uh, oncologist will decide on first the treatment and uh, the statistics on prognosis are out there and and what how long will the biopsy Hopefully we'll get this investigation done this week. Councilor, when you said it was, you need to figure out what type of tumor it is. Do you mean whether it's benign or malignant? Or, or what type, if it is malignant, what type of tumor it is. What type of pain did uh, the mayor say that he was experiencing? He was having uh, left lower quadrant abdominal pain. And uh, it was, as, as uh, we said, it's been going on for greater than three months but uh, today it became unbearable for him. Councillor Ford, maybe you can talk about, was there any concern, you know, a month or two ago that the mayor should be checked out, or was it today that he felt such extreme pain? It was just, that it was, it was just today. That was it. Just, just today. But, folks, I appreciate you coming by. I just want to inform, uh, inform you on what's going on there. Okay, we'll, we'll chat okay. tomorrow. Councillor, could you take us through the next few days for your family? Well, I just if he could just leave us alone, that would be great for the next couple of days, and we'll inform you on what's going on. We heard the doctor say that this could take the investigation could take all week. The cutoff date for signing up for the mayoral race is on Friday. Any consideration as to whether you may take your brother's I have place? no, I have no comment. I'll, I'll speak to you folks uh, probably in the next couple of days. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Thank very you. much, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm sorry, just very quickly, what are the next steps? I think we're going to investigate with regards to what type of tumor it is, and. Uh, 
that to, to get a definitive diagnosis. And so when, do you, when do you include? expect to know what type of tumor it is? Well, hopefully we'll get the investigations, the preliminary investigations done this week. And Doctor, is it safe to say the mayor will be out of commission for a week, two weeks? I can't comment on that. And again, I know it's still very unknown, you know, in the, the early stages here, but is there any sort of indication as to what might lead to this kind of tumor? And, and no, first we have to know what it is, and then we can des decide upon Does that. Does that mean that he's been admitted and he's, he's continued, he will be stay here at the hospital? He is at the hospital. And will he stay here until the diagnosis, or is that? That's to be decided yet. Yeah. Okay, Doctor, thank you. Doctor, this Doctor, is the first time pressure, that the, the mayor yeah. has had a, a tumor removed. Is this related at all? Stay in front of the microphone, sir. He had a small tumor removed in from his appendix when he was the counselor. I'm not, I'm not aware of anything previous, so thank oh. you very much.